Hello, everyone. My name is Meredith Parnell, and welcome to the question and answer session for the Law Student Division uh, election for the Delegate of Programming. Uh, thank you for joining us, for those of you who are watching us live and for everyone else who will be watching this later. I want to um, welcome and thank our two esteemed candidates for the position, Alyssa and Jeremiah, who I'll give a chance to introduce themselves here in a minute. But first, let me just cover the ground rules for this question and answer. We're going to try to keep the whole thing to about 30 minutes. Uh, I'm going to ask a, a series of questions, and both Jeremiah and Alyssa will get a chance to answer them. Uh, they'll have one minute each to answer each question, and we will alternate who goes first. So we've already flipped a, a coin, and um, Alyssa will be taking the first question first. So with that, let's get started. The, um, so the first question, I'd like you both to uh, really just introduce yourself. So, uh, you know, name, school, experience with the ABA and why you're running for this position. Um, so, Alyssa, I'll, I'll keep our time here. Um, if you could, if you could kick us off, that'd be great. Okay. My name is Alyssa Koenig, and I am a rising trio at New England Law Boston. Um, my experience with the ABA is I was the ABA representative for the school last year um, and was reelected for this year as well. Uh, I'm interested in the position um, because I am passionate about the ABA and the law student division and what it has to offer students. I think sometimes students underestimate what the ABA law student division has. And I really want to make sure that they're getting the most out of it as possible, that um, it's more than just discounts that they may get, but it's, it's a career opportunity and it's a really great supplement to their education and eventually their, their career in general. And I want students to make be aware of that. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Jeremiah. Hello, my name is Jeremiah Shavers. I attend Chicago Kent. Uh, my experience with the ABA is I was also my school's ABA rep last year. I have been attending um, various different conferences, like the annual conference, the Meet Your Conference. I have been working with different bar associations, trying to increase membership, not just with the ABA, but different associations, such as like the Illinois Bar Association. And I am interested in this position because I would love to feel, see that the ABA is like a more tangible organization that students feel more connected with. I feel like right now a lot of the students underestimate the benefit of the ABA and I would love to be in a position to help communicate that and help expand that um, experience for students. Great. Thank you guys both. Excellent job staying in the one minute time frame. Um, my first real question is, as you, as you both know, one of the major responsibilities of this position is to develop and promote relevant ABA online programs and in-person events for law students. What are your top one or two ideas for this type of programming? Okay. I feel that... Uh, uh, Jeremiah, you're up first. Thanks. Thank you. My top idea is for helping just to like develop and promote programming I feel like I would love to see more um, regional events, like more like the ABA partnering with different local bar associations having events across the country so that students feel more connected to and can actually see the ABA being active in their communities and where they are living and practicing. And I would also like to see just more um, different like online content for developing trends throughout like the legal field as a whole, and also just um, different events that are like relevant to students. So just expanding uh, like webinars or whatever for students that focus on like developing topics as well as just different regional events. Great, Alyssa, same question. What are your top one or two ideas for the programming? Well, I think my, my top two ideas is one, I'd really like to utilize the ABA reps more in promoting events um, and, and programming that the ABA has to offer. I think they're really great at promoting membership and getting people, um, you know, going getting the free membership or getting the pre uh, premium membership, getting involved in the sections. But I really would like to see them utilize um, their abilities to be able to bring more of their student body to the ABA programming. 
so that would be really important for me to focus on. Um, and then I have to agree with Jeremiah as far as localized events. I know here um, in the Boston area, Meredith, as you know, there's you know five, six law schools that are relatively fairly close together. Um, and I know they did that previously with circuit meetings, uh, but now with the restructure, I'd really like to see that utilize more of those uh, clusters of schools coming together and being more of a unit as the ABA Law Student Division. Great. Next question, Alyssa, this one will go back to you. Um, a lot of students are recruited to the ABA and join or get involved for the first time because of the strength of our programming. So this question is, what are your ideas for how we can best get the word out to students who are not currently involved about uh, some of our great programs? Well, like I had previously said, I think utilizing the ABA reps, you know, they're the feet on the ground, they're in the school, they're with their student bodies, and they really know what their student bodies are interested in and what um, programming would best benefit them. So I think utilizing them to promote that programming is really important. Um, and it, Again, without them being members, I think I think the ABA reps are, are great at saying, hey, you get these discounts, you get the Barbary discounts, you get whatever. But to say you also get all these other benefits of programs that are really going to help you. Um, I want law students to see the benefits of the ABA programming. And I think utilizing the ABA reps is the best way to do that. Great. Same question, Jeremiah. Over to you. I agree with Alyssa. Um, I feel like ABA reps are an underutilized resource, but like aside from just the reps, also you know, getting more in contact with different SBA presidents because at the end of the day, I know most students tend to get updates on upcoming events or programming through their school's SBA. So if we could really tap into school's SBAs, we could really you know, increase like our own presence and the word of different ABA events. And I also feel like if we could do more like partnering with local bar associations because a lot of students pay more attention to those bars because they see them, you know, as their community's bar, their local bar, they have more of a connection to them. So if we could partner with them and have our own events being promoted through them, that would also increase our exposure and get more students involved. Great. All right, Jeremiah, you're first on this one. That last question was about breadth. This is about depth. So the question is, how can we use ABA programming uh, as a tool to deepen students' involvement and leadership and increase students' commitment to the ABA? I feel like the best way to utilize the ABA's programming is to focus on, you know, if we're talking just specifically the law student division, just focusing on a lot of like current issues that are really important to students and also just a lot of issues that are developing in the field. I know last year there was a lot of questions from people at my school. They were wondering about the undocumented student resolution and everything going on about that. And I feel like if there are like these really big developing topics that students are showing a lot of interest in, we need to like develop programming about that and get the word out about what we are doing in that field so that students see that the ABA is an active, vibrant organization that is working on things that are important and pertinent to them. Great. Alyssa? Well, I think that, um, you know, law students do have issues that are really important to them. Uh, and like I had mentioned, ABA reps, SBA presidents, they know what their law students really, really want to know about. And I think tapping into them um, to find out what their, where programming will be best utilized and where people will take interest. Um, I know, you know, mental health awareness is, is a big issue, I think, across uh, many law schools in the country. Uh, like Jeremiah said, the undocumented immigrant resolution. Um, I would say, you know, when I pulled my school about that, um, there was a lot of interest in that. And I think really getting more programming about what the law student division is doing and then tapping into what their interests are and catering around that so that they are interested and they want to be a part of it and know what's going on and how they can make a change. Great. Um, all right, back to you, Alyssa. How do you envision working with or, or leveraging the work of the entity liaison? As someone, I, I myself, I've been a, a, the law student liaison to the Center for Professional Responsibility for a couple years, and I think the liaisons, um, you know, do great work and are 
really involved in uh, a lot of great programming. So, you know, this role obviously has a lot to do with um, connecting with those liaisons and helping run that program. So can you speak a little bit about how you envision, you know, that relationship or, or, the, or those yeah. people uh, working? Sure, absolutely. No, I think that it is going to be a team effort with the liaisons overall. Uh, they're working with the sections one-on-one. -on -one. They know what the sections are doing. They're there to represent the law students. Um, and they're, they're, you know, there's so many student groups that would benefit from each of these liaisons, from the information they're getting, from, from what they have and, and what they can teach them of what's going on in the inside the ABA. Uh, so I think they the liaisons are, are an invaliable tool to schedule programming to individual student groups, people who have those interests, um, and using them to, to reach out to students and saying, hey, I know you're interested in this. Um, you know, I'm working with this liaison. Let's get programming centered around it. Um, there's so many different areas of law that students are interested in that without those liaisons, you know, they, they have no idea. So I think bringing them all together is uh, essential. Great. Same question about uh, entity liaisons, Jeremiah. I agree with Alyssa. I feel that the different liaisons are an integral part of this position. At the end of the day, they are the ones who you know, are working like hand in hand with the different sections. They have a much closer relationship with students who are interested in their particular sections. So being able to reach out to them and like hear back from them, what are students interested in, what type of events would they like to see, and being able to you know, just schedule programming around that. And also not just being able to, you know, work one-on-one -on -one with liaisons, so being able to like coordinate them and bring them together. There are a lot of different um, intermingled areas of the law. There are a lot of different areas where liaisons can come together and work together and just helping foster that connection between the different liaisons would also just be a critical component of performing this job. Great. Um, this position, as you both know, involves a, a standing vote in the House of Delegates, which is the ABA's major policy-making body. It's composed of over 500 uh, ABA leaders. Tell us, what makes you qualified to represent the Law Student Division in the House of Delegates? Jeremiah. I feel like I'm qualified to represent the Law Student Division because I have been doing a lot of work both at my law school and with different bar associations, just reaching out to different students, um, trying to figure out like what are the different areas that different students from different regions or different interests are worried about, what are the issues that most impact them. So I feel like, you know, both work as an APA rep and also partnering with different or you know, different bar associations such as like the Illinois Bar Association or different county associations. I have been, you know, doing a lot of work reaching out to different diverse populace of students. And I feel like I could bring that experience to this position and that would really help me represent students as a whole. Alyssa? Well, I feel that, um, again, with, with my experience as the ABA rep and being able to work with my personal student body um, on in things that are important to them, um, and putting my own personal interests and views aside is really essential um, element to this position as well. And I feel I can do that on a national basis, um, just as I have done with my own student body, um, and really taking into the whole law student division interests and, and listening to their wants and their needs and where they feel changes need to come and how they feel about certain issues. So it's important, I think, to educate um, ABA reps and the SBA presidents because there are feet on the ground uh, of what's going on so that they can go to their student body and say, hey, how do you feel like this about this? And we can bring it all together and I can bring it to the House of Delegates and really represent the law student division. Um, and I feel that's a strength of mine of being able to communicate with the, the other people so that I'm not using my own interests, but really looking at the whole interests of the law student division and what's best for them as, as overall. Great. All right, Alyssa, back to you now. Um, this position also involves a lot of coordination between ABA leaders who may have priorities that differ from yours. So, you know, that could be the Law Student Division Council members, the entity liaison, the uh, Law Student Assembly members, or House Delegate members, you know, so on. You guys both clearly have a, a lot of experience that you've already touched on uh, involving, you know, 
spreading the word about the ABA or recruiting people, but can you tell us about a particular time when you've had to recruit people uh, to join you for, for a program or for a group or something like that? I'm, I'm, you know, I ask this question because I think we want someone in this role who is a really good recruiter. So I'd love to hear some, something kind of specific about a, a time when you've had to be a good recruiter. Wow, it's hard to, to think back. Um... To, to all the different times. Um, I know, you know, of course, as an ABA rep re recruiting my student body, um, our recruitment went up substantially from the year before. Um, so I, I'm very proud of that, uh, that we were able to recruit so many students into the, the ABA Law Student Division last year from our, from our student body. Uh, but also I think um, specifically too, you know, I've worked as a, a PTA president and really involving parents in, or I'm sorry, vice president, involving parents to get them involved in the PTA and their students' education. And I think this is, is similar, is I'm recruiting people to get involved in an important educational aspect. And, uh, you know, we worked with fundraising and with bringing parents together and really making the school a better place. And this is, I think, very similar, just uh, on a little bit of a larger scale. And I think I'm a people person, and I listen to people, and I and I want to know and do what's best for those around me, and um, for the entity as a whole. And I think that's a strength that I can bring to the position. Great, Jeremiah. Um, I will say my experience. I have like the past year. I was the part of the diversity committee for my school. I was co-chair of the committee, and one thing that I had to do was I had to reach out to a lot of students. From different like ethnic backgrounds or religious backgrounds and reach out to them see how they want to be represented in the school help them develop programming like different events throughout the year and also like um we all always hold like a big event at the year with all the different organizations coming together so i had to reach out and like coordinate different organizations get members from these different groups to like come out and represent themselves and that was just a really great experience just working with a bunch of different people and having a lot of people with different goals and interests come together and work towards one particular goal. And so I feel like, you know, through experiences like that, I have just had a chance to, you know, work with varying people of all different backgrounds and I've been able to bring them together. And I feel like I can continue to do this work on a national level with this position. Great. All right, Jeremiah, back to you. Uh, you guys have already both mentioned some important issues facing law students, mental health, the undocumented student uh, resolution. I want to give you a chance to mention others. So are there other particularly pressing or serious issues that you that are facing law students right now that you would prioritize tackling uh, or building programs around in this position? Yeah, there are a, a, a wide variety of issues out there that affect law students. There's uh, the undocumented students, there's like the rising student debt, there's a lot of uh, just decreasing attendance at schools, um, a lot of just not having like the teachers there to teach like certain programmings or certain programs not being offered at school anymore. And I feel like so at the end of the day, a lot of the students are wondering is like law school really worth it anymore or, or is their school really providing for them? So I would like to see, you know, just working with this position, try to focus on a lot of different areas of like the developing law or like specific issues that are particular to different regions or different groups of people just to you know reassure them the ABS here we're on their side we hear that uh, we hear their problems we hear their complaints and we are actively working to address these different concerns Great. Yeah, I have to um, agree with, with Jeremiah. I think like the student debt is a, is a major issue um, that's come around um, with the um, student loan forgiveness program and, and that being questionable at the time. Um, I think a lot of students are, are nervous about the UBE. I know, you know, Massachusetts, I'll be the first, you know, class in 2018 to take it. So I, I know, I think a lot of students would like more information about that and how that's going to affect them. I think that there's not a lot of um, education to, to many law students about that. You know, our main our main goals, I think, are to get a job and to pay off our debts. Um, and I think those are big issues that are surrounding us all, and that we want to know how do we do it, and how do we do it efficiently, and how are we how do we know we're going to be okay? And I think uh, through the ABA programming and educating on these issues and what the ABA is doing about them is really important to our uh, law students across the country. 
great. Um, you guys agree on so much uh, and both have such great ideas. So tell us, you know, give us the best pitch for why you, or what makes you different, why, why you know, help, us, help people differentiate you two. Why, why should um, someone vote for you for this job? Uh, Alyssa. Well, for me, I think I have behind me a lot of uh, life experience. Um, I am a mother of three children. I have a 16-year-old, a 13-year-old, and an 18-month-old. So um, I, my life is programming. <laughs> I don't know how else to put that. Uh, it's coordinating events, you know, and balancing law school and 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 all the other things that comes along with being uh, an adult, I suppose. Um, but I. I believe I have life experience behind me. I have life skills behind me. Um, I'm not the traditional law student, um, but I do listen to the traditional law students and the untraditional law students and what their concerns are. And I want to be able to educate and bring programming to them that is important to, to both groups um, and to a wide range of the device, the diverse population of law students um, because we all are so diverse and I want to address those concerns. And I feel like I really can do that um, and listen because I do have substantial life experience behind me on that. Jeremiah? Yeah, I would just not to agree with the list. There are a lot of like non-traditional students such as like night students, our parents. And there are a lot of those students at our school. We have a very like huge night school program and just have had the chance to just interact with those students as well as traditional students have given me like a lot of different, you know, exposure to different backgrounds and different types of students. And I feel like I would be able to advocate for them all. I've also done a lot of work, um, just going to different conferences, working with different bar associations, just helping to represent people of all different backgrounds and all different interests. And I've also, uh, in those past year, I've had the opportunity to attend like the ABA mid-year meeting and other like regional ABA meetings. And I've had a chance to develop a network of people within the ABA who I can reach out to and get advice or, you know, seek direction when I'm working on this job. And I feel like for all these reasons, that would make me like the best candidate for this position. Great. Um, a few more questions and then we'll wrap up. Jeremiah, back to you. Why, you know, there's a lot of great positions that uh, we're having elections for right now. So why this position? Why, you know, as opposed to delegated communications or vice chair or whatever, what is it about this job that makes you want it? I feel like, you know, every position within the ABA is like extreme, extremely important. But I, I am drawn to this position in particular because I feel at the end of the day, a lot of students, you know, are losing in the interest in the ABA or don't really understand like the value of it. And I think a lot of the problem with that is students don't really see the ABA as like part of their lives. They don't see the ABA active in their communities. They don't really understand how the ABA affects the issues that are pertinent to them. So I feel like working in this position, I can help tailor the ABA experience for students to make it more relatable to students, make it more tangible to students and get students more excited and interested and becoming like active members of the ABA, and that is why I'm interested in this position in particular. Well, I know I've had the opportunity to participate in several of the um, law student division programming. Um, I've competed in the client counseling com competition two years in a row. Um, I worked with the competition for the negotiation competition with the students at our school. Um, and I have, you know, attended webinars and, and I really take an interest in what the ABA has to offer. And I'm passionate about it and I want my, the rest of the student body at, at various schools to be passionate about it too. I really want them to see the value that the ABA has. Again, like I said, beyond just the discounts, there's so much more to offer and I want them to see the value in that. And that's why I chose this position to run for. Um, I believe it has so much to offer law students. And, um, you know, and it's a great opportunity to also work with the, with the other delegates. Um, I'll have to work with the delegate of communication and the, the delegate of diversity and inclusion um, to be able to coordinate programming that will reach all different students and, and really tailor to what they're interested in and what they need. And I, it's something that I feel strongly about. Great. Um, those are actually all the questions I have. So what I want to do now is give you guys both a chance to just 
say what you whatever you want if there's anything that we haven't touched on from your statement or your resume which everyone should go check out um, you know please share that or any other thoughts um, and then feel free to take maybe like up to two minutes um, if, you, if you want for this kind of closing statement so Alyssa we'll go with you and then we'll give Jeremiah the last word Okay. Well, first, I want to thank those that did come in and listen and those that will go back and watch it recorded. Um, and I appreciate you taking interest in your responsibility as, as, a, del as a, a delegate in, in voting for this position. And I really hope that you see how passionate that I am about it, uh, that I really want to listen to the needs of the law students. And I want to address those needs. And I want to bring programming um, that is meaningful to law students, that will show you them the value of the ABA that will carry them through their law student career, that will carry them through their professional career and continue to be a part of the ABA and make it a, a foundation of their success. Uh, and I hope that you can see that passion in me. Um, I look forward to meeting so many of you uh, in New York um, and those who can't attend, uh, please reach out to me. I'd be happy to speak with anybody about any concerns that you may have. I, I hope to bring a lot of ideas to this position and really great lead, lay some great uh, ground foundation to things to come in the future for this position with the ABA. Great. Jeremiah. I would just like to say, um, in closing, I feel like I'm very passionate about this position. I've been doing a lot of uh, like programming and organizing work in my past, and I feel that this is a lot of experience I can bring to this position. I have a lot of ideas, and I have seen personally the difference that the ABA can make in students' lives. And I've also seen that there are a lot of students who know or may be unsure or don't really understand what the ABA can do for them. And I feel like, you know, being able to address both these types of people will be like a very critical role that this position plays. And this is a large part of the reason why I'm interested in this position. At the end of the day, I invite all students who are either listening or um, we'll watch later or we'll be attending the conference in um, New York to just reach out to me like if you have any questions like address them to me and I can talk to you further about my ideas or anything else I have planned but at the end of the day I'm just grateful for this opportunity to run for this position and I would be really honored if you all chose me to represent you in this capacity and this is I just ask for your support in this. Great. Well, thank you guys both so much. It's wonderful to have two great candidates for this position. Um, as a reminder to everyone that's watching, you can see uh, Alyssa and Jeremiah's statements about why they're interested in their resumes that are posted online on the candidate website um, and encourage everyone to vote uh, for this and the other open positions um, in August. So thank you guys again for doing this and see you in New York. Thanks. Bye.